guys, how you doing? And welcome to another video of Warlord Wednesday. And today we're looking at the Bolt Action US Armoured Platoon. Now, we have seen so far the starter kit, uh, which was a very fantastic box set. Uh, we've moved on now to the US Armoured Fist uh, because we need something to transport our troops. And within that, you've got like 30 men and three half tracks. Now we're moving on to some heavy armour or some medium lightweight, uh, some medium armour, I should say, uh, to protect the troops. So we're going to look at the Sherman tank. Now, the Sherman tank for me. Uh, or the M4 is an amazing tank. Uh, it's very durable, it was fast, it had a nice sized gun on it, and it did a lot of damage. Obviously, it was difficult to take out tigers, but the best way to take out a tiger, from what I know and what I've been told, is to shoot it in the rear. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've got to say that. I know it makes me giggle, I'm an old man, things like that make me laugh. Uh, so, uh, it's a fantastic vehicle, it's got lots and lots of things that it can do. Uh, there was many different versions of it, and it was built in its thousands, tens of thousands. Uh, and we saw it in the English Army at the time, we saw it in the Canadian, uh, lots of the Allied forces, including Russia as well. Um, it's a beautiful tank. It's iconic, uh, it's well remembered, uh, and when you think American armour during the Second World War, I think you always uh, reflect back to the Sherman tank. And we've seen it in many, many feature films as well, including Fury that's just been out. So let's spin this around and have a look at the back. So what do we get in here? We get three uh, tanks, or three tank kits. Uh, each comes with a 50 cal, each comes with a cannon, or gun, sorry, and a 30 cal that sits in the gunner seat. Uh, you get three sets of decals, or water slides, um, and as usual, there's a lot of information on the back, uh, where it talks about the main gun uh, from a 76, uh, from a 75 mil uh, main gun, uh, and it also uh, talks about the amount of crew that are on board. Um, also, advertising the new tank war. Now, I'm very excited about tank war because if you like your tanks, this is the game for you. And if you're down with us on the 9th of November down at Wayland Games, uh, we'll be playing this and also building and painting tanks in the morning. So uh, look out for that link down below. Okay, let's open it up and have a look in the inside. Hi guys and welcome back. So here we are. Now, I've only opened up one of the kits. Uh, first of all, it comes with this fantastic uh, destruction sheet. Um, and in there, it gives you everything you need to learn how to build your tank. Now, I like the fact that the tracks aren't just straight, they've been um, uh, cast, so they're all uh, a little bit wiggly on the top, so they follow the, for the, follow the wheel, so to speak. Uh, and they're in two parts with two wheels that clip in. Uh, so it's a nice, easy, easy build. I didn't have any trouble putting these together. Uh, and the whole thing is very few parts but the parts that are there are quite small, uh, such as the, the machine gun that mounts in there uh, and all the other little bits of armour and hatches and stuff like that. But once you've got it all together, it absolutely it looks absolutely astonishing. Now, you only get one barrel, uh, so you don't get the option to ver uh, do variations, uh, which is kind of cool because uh, this is your sort of your, your bread and butter. This is your the mainstay. This is your basic... Uh, Sherman tank. Now you can do all sorts of things with this tank by adding stowage and all sorts of other bits and pieces which we'll have a look in a second because I've built three of them now. Uh, so let's have a look at the the actual kits themselves. Now like I said very basic kits is what you want. You don't want too much to to overwhelm you of tiny little parts, hatches and stuff that you have to keep putting on. Uh, I like the fact that there's only one hatch there that's open which you can put a little guy in there. Um, and the tracks again Really easy to put together. I had no stresses whatsoever putting these tracks together. Really enjoyable. There's the basic uh, under section of the hull. Again, really easy. Just clips together, the wheels clip onto the side there, the whole track system just slots in. There's slots all over the place on this, so you can't miss, uh, and it won't go on all wrong. Um, and let's have a look at this section. Okay, so here are our wheels, here's the track system. Um, that connects to the side. Uh, your tracks go over the top of there. Again, nice and simple. It's already done for you, so you don't have to stick it all together, uh, which is pretty cool. Now you have your other wheel assembly that attaches onto this as well. Uh, again, you've got other bits and pieces in here that just add to it. Uh, your lights that fit on the tank. Uh, your main turret assembly is marked out there with your cannon. Now it has a little machine gun, so be very careful when you're putting that through 
uh, these holes, uh, I did snap mine off on the first attempt, uh, not realising, actually not realising at all, just managed to break it by accident. Uh, but these things happen, don't worry about it. Um, again, you'll get uh, two hatches that fit over the top. Nice and easy. I mean, it's a, it's a quick, easy kit to put together. Uh, and let's have a look at some finished product. See you in a second. Hi guys, welcome back. So here we have our three tanks. Now, I'm just going to show you these uh, because I've played around with them. I've done quite a lot to them as well. But there's so much that you can do to these, uh, these kits by just adding bits and pieces to them. So let's start at this one here. Okay, so with this one, we have, if I can just get this to focus, because uh, there's so much going on in the background, uh, we have a very dirty looking uh, tank. Uh, it's loaded up with stowage. Now this is all bits and pieces that I've managed to find uh, that I've added on from the stuff that I'm working on at the moment and some extra bits and pieces. The crew came from uh, Warlord Games, which you can find on their website. Um, and it's a beautiful kit. It's a nice, easy kit to put together. Uh, it was very quick. I managed to get all three done within an hour. Uh, which was fantastic and then the painting uh, didn't take too long at all um, it's nice and easy so this is what I've done with this one uh, then on this one all I've done here is just added a crew member on the back firing off the 50 cal as you can see there the 50 cal at the top the main gun there with the 30 cal down below uh, it's a beautiful piece really is nice now somebody's asked me why I'm doing American and not British um, Ideally I would have done British but I started off with a tank anyway and it sort of exploded from there. Um, I think if I ever did start another army it would definitely be British. And who knows, I might do uh, British for the tank wars. Um, and then I've gone to this one. Now, uh, this one I've done all sorts. Now you can buy this as an actual tank itself. Uh, Warlord sell uh, a resin uh, model. Uh, with the planks along the side. Now I found out the reason why they put the planks along the side was for not only for extra armor, uh, but also to stop the Germans from putting mines sticking uh, sticking mines to the side of the tanks, uh, which was fantastic. Um, now I've added this one with sandbags, but again we'll all do one with just sandbags all over it. Uh, but I just wanted to play around and see what was possible with this, uh, and it's a really lovely thing to play around with. You can do so much of it. Again, the crew members are from Warlord. Uh, they don't actually come uh, with the tanks, um, but they are really, really nice. Now, for just a basic look, you can do this. If we can get this one just to focus for a second. That's what you get as a basic kit and a basic loadout. It's nice and simple, easy to do. And just to show you what the, the resin version looks like, and we'll have a proper look at this another day, um, here we have... A resin version of the tank uh, with the side pieces cast on already um, and it is a beautiful beautiful piece and I've got to say thoroughly enjoying playing with these so far <laughs> I've got to say now it's absolutely perfect value for the money three tanks you get in the box set um, go check it out uh, if you haven't heard of um, bolt action or warlord yet it's worth just checking out the website you can find that in the link down below it is a fantastic site. Now next week, we'll be showing you a video of walking around Warlord and looking at all the exciting things that they've, going, they've got going on up there. So guys, you be good, you be safe, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.